small garden here in front of Big Chief. Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Savage Traveling. Uh, I'm down here with Big Chief. We're in Montpelier, Indiana. We're actually heading east towards Ohio to go to a music festival at, uh, it's called Brushy Fork Family Ranch. It's called Aces Back to Back. Kind of like a hippie jam band thing we're gonna go and do this weekend. You might, you might get a, a, a glimpse or two of that. But um, I'm just down here. I thought I'd stop here and show you all the cool stuff around. You got Big Chief and then you got these cool paintings of like, I think some of them are actual businesses that are here or were here. Um, some cool old buildings here. This is just one of them places like you see over there. Neff Insurance, like that's a real business here in town, I, I believe. And it's just all painted on. It's just a cool old downtown that I wanted to get on video for a while. Um, but yeah, Big Chief here. We're heading east to a music festival, so uh, I got a couple more stops along the way just to show you guys cool things, and then we're gonna get to the show and uh, see what's going down. So, and um, I'll pick up with you a little farther down the road, okay, guys? Just a line of old dilapidated, dilapidated storefronts. New cordon to the left, and then just beyond this road on your right is a massive, I'm gonna assume pretty, pretty old church in the town of Trinity. Welcome to Ohio, guys. The first thing you see when you get into Ohio on this, well, it's 29 East now, as we escape into Ohio from Indiana, is a bar. Now, I don't know if it's still open these days. Oh, it is, it has the ATM sign on there. That don't mean it's open. I don't know, but I always thought it was cool that the first thing you saw when you got into Ohio was a bar. Now, it's out in the middle of nowhere here. There's not a town close. Like literally the last little town we passed, well, the that last big town we passed was Montpelier. And then I showed you like the little town of Trinity we just passed with the church. That's all that's in between here and there. But the old bar always fascinated me for whatever reason. Now, if it's actually open, that's beyond me. So anyways, guys, if you're ever out this way and you see the open sign for that bar, why don't you stop and have a drink? I never have after years and years and years of driving. I've drove by that place 120 times probably over the years. I've drove this way a bunch and uh, never stopped. I'm always driving and I don't, I try not to drink and drive because it's dangerous and expensive. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's the bar. We're in Ohio. Always a breath of fresh air to get here, you know, coming from there. So uh, anyways, guys, I got a few more stops we're gonna do before we get to the show. Like there's still a long way to drive. And uh, I'm going to get at it. So uh, thanks for hanging in there. Okay, guys, here is the quilted rock. Um, I don't really know the significance other than the stone co looks to be to our right so it's i assume it's some kind of quarry and they can pull out big rocks like this and maybe this is like a grinder i'm not really sure it's pretty cool like i said i've drove by this stuff a hundred times at least and figured i'd stop and get a cool video of it Right across the street is like a little recreation area where you can fly remote controlled airplanes or drones or have a picnic. Looks like day use kind of thing. I don't think you can camp there or anything like that. All right, here, the quilted rock. 
and you got Beaver Chapel. Ignore me, accept me, your choice. Jesus. Trusty steed, steel reserve. But yeah, quilted rock out here, just across the border in Ohio. This would be extreme western central Ohio. Uh, it's beautiful out here. A lot of rural farmland, um, clean air, blue skies, green grass, loud trucks. Love it. All right, guys, we're going to continue east and, uh, any more cool stuff, I'll try to get some film of it. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for uh, coming along. Salvation Station. <laughs> Okay guys, yeah, I just used the rest area. Um, I'm about an hour and a half from my destination. I'm out near Zanesville. I don't know exactly know if that's the closest town or not where we're headed. Uh, here, we're still a little ways from Columbus, but not too far. Just another beautiful day out here in Ohio, guys. Uh, it's been about a year and some change probably since I've been out here. I haven't seen a music event out here in a while since a little bit before COVID, so. This is a long time coming and I'm kind of excited. So it's gonna be a good weekend and I definitely will show you guys a little bit of the show, you know, in another video. Now this is just the journey to get there. So, but I'll show you like when we go through the gate and such. So it'll be cool. All right guys, we're out here by Belfontin. Ohio um, there's they have caverns out by here I've been into some I think there's more than just what I've been into I think there's a whole huge network but I've been to this place called Zane Shawnee caverns uh, they do music festivals there they used to I don't know if they really do anymore but uh, it's a pretty neat little place to go camping and see music and whatnot but in the back of the place it's ran by these Indians they're called the Zane Shawnee Indians and they have they run tours down into these caverns and it's pretty neat stuff I don't have any video of it or anything it's been years since i've been there too but uh if you're ever in the area out here check out bell fountain and uh bell fountain ohio and their caverns it's a a good place to spend a weekend for sure columbus 48 miles old barn there in the distance still has its three or maybe four silos standing that's pretty cool okay guys we're about 20 minutes from the venue ran into a little traffic we're out here we're out here near newark koshock well koshockton's not near here but uh lancaster and uh granville i believe so it's starting to just ease into the foothills of southeast ohio 
once we get through this traffic anyways. don't look too encouraging but uh, we're just gonna hope for the best it's been raining a lot here the last couple days since the, the hurricane Elsa came up and I don't know if this is from that or anything but we've definitely had a lot of rain the last few days at least over where I'm at so I imagine they're getting some of it out here apparently they are right over there <laughs> oh, man, man. right back there is real dark all right, guys, there's the giant Longenberger basket. Uh, it used to be a company that made those baskets, but like regular size, they went out of business. And now there's a giant basket that says Longenberger out here on the side of the highway. It'd be cool music venue or like recreation palace or something like that. I don't know. Uh, beyond being that it looks like a basket, I don't think it's a, like a special building or anything, you know? I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting though. I'm <laughs> always been like, wow, that's a big basket. <laughs> We're only about 10 minutes out, guys. I'll talk to you when we get to the venue. Back here in the Ohio countryside. Hard to beat it. Looks like it just rained here, so maybe we missed it. We can only hope, right? If not, I have, if it just like rains for like the whole time I'm here, I have stuff for that just in case. I hope it doesn't. got parked this is where I'm camping for the weekend it's Thursday so there'll be a lot more people here by the time Friday and Saturday come um, it obviously rained here so let's go around here she said the stage was just around the corner here we'll take a peek at that real quick I sleep into my van I'll give you guys a whole tour of that and they wrote something on my sh it's all good We'll just peek around the corner here and see what's going on. And then I'll say goodbye to you guys. And then I'll come back in another video here in a day or two. More of show you what's going on here, okay? Okay, right there's the stage. I'm sure the, this is just the back, so be facing the other way. Let's walk on around. I need to get, I can't leave my car for too long. There's a bunch of camera gear and Yeah, guys, it's going to be a little party here, so please check back in the next video, and I'll show you a little bit more about Aces Back to Back out here at Brushy Fork Family Ranch. So thanks for coming along with me as I drove from Indiana to Ohio. It's always a good time, and if you look hard enough, there's cool things to see, so peace.
Yeah. <laughs> 